has passed a bill that would bump the minimum wage to $9.25 an hour by the year 2018. That's a change from the Senate's bill, which called for an increase to $9.20 an hour by 2017. The bill also includes a provision linking the minimum wage to inflation with a cap. Susan L. Corey talked to a small business owner today about how the higher minimum wage would affect her bottom line. A bunch of white roses. When Laura Miller opened her flower store, she knew it would involve a lot of hard work. But she never imagined pulling as many all-nighters. Valentine's Day I went 40 hours with no sleep, working straight 40 hours. While some holidays are an exception, Miller typically works 55 hours a week. Now she's nervous what an increase in the state's minimum wage might mean for her workload. I can't cut back anymore and still run the business like I'm running it. How to afford higher wages for her employees is one challenge. A hike in the minimum wage may also cause a chain reaction with increasing costs from flower growers to wholesalers that Miller's store relies on. It's going to affect us probably about five to ten different times throughout that route of getting flowers to the consumer. Which might translate to higher prices for customers. But lawmakers say that's not the point of changing the current law. It's a balancing act of trying to get the people higher wages but also make sure that we're not killing the economy in the process and not taking a step backwards as far as job creation. With her business still trying to recover from the recession, Miller is afraid any more costs could prevent her from breaking even. We can't take another blow like that. We just can't. In Lansing, Susan L. Corey, Fox 47 News. The bill was passed by the House and Senate late this afternoon, and Governor Snyder's office says he will sign the bill, raising the current $7.40 an hour wage to $9.25 an hour by the year 2018.